here we've got the Black Series number 45 Kylo Ren from The Last Jedi. Got for $9.99 at TK Maxx. And it's quite a nice looking figure. This price you couldn't really turn your nose up at. And it's number 45. Growing more powerful in the dark side of the force, Kylo Ren pursues his enemies with sinister determination. He will prove to Supreme Leader Snoke what he truly is capable of and will hunt down those who cause the defeat of Starkiller Base. European box. Kylo Ren. Looks pretty good. There's been quite a few Kylo Rens. There's been the unmasked version from the Force Awakens, the original version, plus I think there was a special version with snow on the boots and that came with a base. And now there's this version. Shame it doesn't come with a helmet, like you could swap, swap out the heads, but it comes with the lightsaber and the hilt. Great artwork on the card, you can really see the scar there. Can't really see it there, but we'll get it out and have a good look at this. Good look at Kylo Ren, he's still in the box. Oops, this one's got a mistake on it. It's got two left feet. Darn it. Oh dear. Figure looks good though. Comes with a lightsaber hilt and a uh, lightsaber. But we don't want it with two left feet. Oh dear. Guess that makes it rarer, but still. I wanted to display this figure. See the scar though, it looks really good. It's the Kylo Ren. Great figure apart from his having two what's that? Left feet, yeah. So you can see it's got a left foot there and a left foot there. But it's quite a nice looking figure. You can see the scar really good. And the uh, figure, this material is kind of rubbery. It's got nice sculpting detail. It's got pretty good arm articulation. I see uh, his shoulders go up to there and rotate round. Elbows go that much in, so they go pretty far in. Head doesn't go far back. Doesn't want to move forward either. Goes that far down. Really stiff. And then he head turns. Captures the look of the actor. And yeah. Has a waist crunch but doesn't really move much. Already moves a bit back, get his body back a bit. Legs go out that much. He's got a thigh cut, double jointed knees. So legs go all the way back. Rocker ankles. Not bad, apart from the two left feet. It's just a cool for. There's the. This should be the a right foot. This one. It's got a belt. It's the back of the figure. I think you've got a place to plug in the lightsaber there. Which is just the hilt. So you can plug that in the back. You can do it one handed. 
So I'm guessing I'm going to have to take this one back. He's got two left feet. Hopefully I've still got the receipt. But I mean, as a defective figure, it'd be... You never know. But I guess there's so many of these made that, that it wouldn't really make it rare or anything like that. You know, this might be a common mistake. Two left feet. First time I've seen a figure with such a defect in the Black Series. You can see it down there. Okay, I've found the receipt at least, so I can definitely take this back. You can plug the lightsaber hilt just into his belt at the back. Or you can have him holding this lightsaber here. It's nicely sculpted. Wrists move. This one moves a bit more up and down. And if you've pushed the waist a bit, it will move quite a bit from side to side as well. I mean the ab crunch. So there is movement there, you just gotta force it a bit. And you've got the thigh cut. So you've got typical black series articulation. Just that this figure's defective. It's got a left foot, two left feet. movement though. It comes with this rubbery cape. This is pretty cool. Okay so I'm gonna have to take this back and then go meet my uh, mate and his kids in Kensington Gardens. So I better get ready pretty soon. But it's not a bad figure, it's quite good and I'll probably try and get another one. Hopefully it won't have the same defect. It's a shame. Okay, so let's compare this to the Elite Series Kylo Ren with the Unmasked from The Force Awakens. And then we'll be more or less done. We'll put the cape on as well. It's Kylo Ren with the cape on. And you can get him into a two-handed lightsaber grip, which is pretty cool. And the cape looks great. It has a leathery look to it. It's quite rubbery, flexible. Yeah, nice. Fits good over his shoulders. Just like the cape that um, Krennic comes with, but in rubber, black, rather than white. And this one's more flexible, actually. Has a nice texturing to it, as does the undergarment. So, apart from the ankle, I mean the foot, two left feet, it's a great figure. Cool looking figure. You can see the scar really good there. Looks nice. Kylo Ren with the Elite series. This is the from the Force Awakened. As you can see the figure's a lot bigger. But in terms of face sculpting, this one's a lot better, more defined, whereas this one's a lot more simpler. But it's a good figure, this metal one. It's heavy, weighs a ton. It's got nice sculpting detail, less uh, movement, but you know, still got nice texturing. Displays really well. Got this for a fiver when eBay, I mean, uh, Disney Store sold this one off. So it's a good figure. I mean, you have to keep the lightsaber in the sort of with the extra plastic on it so that he doesn't drop it. It's not a bad figure. And it displays really well. A lot taller, wow. About an inch taller really. More than an inch. So, cool comparison. And now I've got to go to the hassle of returning this figure just because he's got a left foot there. I bet you they don't have any others that there as well. Anyway, that's that. So we've got two Kylo Rens. We've got the Elite Series and the Black Series number 45. 
and this is a great figure apart from its manufacturing defect but you know it looks really cool I think you've got to sort of work this on the shoulders a bit because otherwise it looks a bit puffy on the back it's got nice flow to it looks good here's the figure without the you can get two hand pose you can't do that with this one his arms more like pointing there but the size difference is quite and you can see just the head sculpt so much superior on this version but both great figures so is this figure worth getting I think so yeah especially if you can get a reduced price this is £9.99 in the UK and this is quite a recent figure so just like what I said in an earlier video about Star Wars toys just languishing on the shelves not selling you know and this is a main character he's like the main villain of the new movies and he's already dropped in price so I'm gonna take this one back and hopefully get a uh, new one I doubt if they'll have it in the store I'm gonna go I was going that way anyhow because Sainsbury's is meant to have a sale on the Star Wars stuff and uh, so I thought I'd pick that so I'm gonna take this back and get a refund and get an another one from another TK Maxx store unless they've got another one cool looking figure though very nice so apart from the two left feet which is a funny old defect but <laughs> you know what can you do and I wanted to display this one out of the box so and I don't think it makes it rare or anything to have two left feet on a figure so I'll return it as a defective looks great you can see the lightsaber has nice styling on it so I have a good look in the weapons in a minute look at the lightsaber hilts you get you get the one with the ignited lightsaber which has lots of uh, that sort of flickering caused by the cracked uh, kyber crystal looks good better than when they first issued it with the bits of red going across the hilt looks a bit silly this is much better and then here's the unlit hilt which plugs in the back of the figure really nice not much paint detail but looks nice nice sculpting and there's the lightsaber pretty cool good look at the cape pretty cool and then the figure itself so a shame about the uh, I'm gonna have to take this back but what can you do okay so I've got to take this back and you know but I used to work in customer services in a shop called CNA years ago and uh, in Oxford Street and it was really busy and so I know a lot about customer services and you know customers always right and not, you know, about giving refunds and stuff like that but you can see the two left feet there so it shouldn't be a hassle or anything I've got the receipt so you know no problem so overall it's a great figure and I'd like to get another one but I hope it has got the same defect. Maybe that's why they've got him reduced so f early. But, you know, it's undisplayable like this. Okay, so overall it's a great figure. And if you can find it for 9 99 and it hasn't got two left feet or two right feet, it's definitely worth picking up. There's the box. And it's time to put him back inside and get off to... The TK Maxx and take this back so you know a bit annoying but then again that could make this figure quite rare so part of me saying should I keep this figure and uh, you know getting graded loose or graded and then you know with the defect like a factory error but you know these figures are so common 
it won't bring up the price in the future. So, not bad. <laughs> okay, so there's his left foot. So you can find this figure for $9.99 in the UK. You can get it cheaper in America. You can get them for about five dollars. Uh, definitely pick him up. Great figure. Great head sculpt. Looks great. All right. Cheers. Goodbye.